Alrighty guys, so we've just set up sort of our base layout, so you can see we've got the tiles here. That'll pretty much tell us the gaps in between each segment and the uh, the length of them. But uh, we've just come to a realization these guys are trapped once again. So we're going to need to build a ladder system there, and then that should enable them to get out, I hope. We'll find out shortly um, whether or not they'll suffocate. Let's see, are you guys going to be able to get out? I am 90% sure they should be able to get out. Mm, I don't know. They're kind of standing around idly. But we just finished uh, up that research there. So what we're going to do next is power. So we've got a jumbo battery. We've got a switch. We've got a wire bridge, a coal generator, and a wood burner. All this sort of stuff will make more sense as we go along and you see us using it. But uh, right now, it probably doesn't. Okay. We've got a lot. We're in a very funky position. So... What we're going to do, I think what we'll just do is, we'll just dig all that. And we're just going to dig straight over here. There's a ton of copper ore, which is very valuable as a mineral, uh, as a metal ore, uh, when you begin. And you do need it in the end games as well. But what we need to do is we need to get our digger up to level 2, so we can start excavating this stuff. And then we can actually get the water moved over into here. I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So these guys are going hard, uh, they should be able to get over there. I'm going to put another ladder just in case to be on the safe side of things, because I'm not 100% sure. Are these guys stuck down here? Nah, they're good, they're fine. Alright, so he's going to wash his hands, good. Uh, I do need to put another basin in. I can't with the ladder there though. That's fine, they're all taking their time going toilet, which is what we want. It's perfect, that's actually working out really good. While we don't actually have two toilets. So you can see we've got no oxygen generator built and we still don't have a food source. I'm going to check our oxygen here. We've still got quite a bit of it up here, which is okay. We do need to get that down the bottom here though. Uh, and you can see on the right hand side, we've got a bunch of resources. We don't actually have any algae. We've got a very small amount of algae. Uh, so the reason I mentioned algae is because we can use that to make turn into oxygen. Whether or not we're going to do that, I'm not sure yet, because there's a ton of algae up here, but we haven't harvested it yet. That's okay. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll start digging out this stuff here. Start queuing up some things. Uh, dig that out, because there's an oxalite. We don't want to dig that up yet, because that will passively produce oxygen for us over time. That's fine. You guys are digging all through there. They're just digging, digging away. That's fine. All right. Uh, they should still be able to get out through there. We've got our researcher going. And when the... So the power... This power is the battery. And they run on it like a hamster. And the battery stores that power. And then Nicola is using that power. You can see that Ashkin decided to come along and top the battery up. And uh, yeah, Nicola is using that power to do a bit of research. Which is great. How much seeds do we have? We've only got three seeds. That's fine. We can get into that later. What we're going to do is we might get some planter boxes. So these planter boxes will allow us to pretty much harvest, not harvest, grow food. So we're going to put some mealwood, which is uh, the duplicant's favorite. It's uh, kind of, what are they? They're like grubs. It grows grubs, I think. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best way to describe them, grubs. So once we get that grubs going, we'll be pretty good. But uh, in the long run, we'll probably switch to ranching, which is what these little dudes are. Where did they go? I didn't see the other one. Speaking of, we do need to uh, make Ashkin's priority farming. So he's got that. And now what we can do is we can plant these millwood seeds. So we've got seven of them. We're going to plant. And we're just going to copy these settings right across. There we go. So those plants are going to get planted. You can see there they just got delivered. Fertilization. And it's grown. So we've got our first millwood plant growing, which is wonderful. Uh, next up, what do we need to research? Next up, we are probably going to research the research one. So this will allow us to unlock the further stages of researching, which is great. That's doing that. They're going to do all of that and sweet. You guys are doing a great job. We're going to set this up for the next dig. I don't want to dig into here because I don't want hydrogen getting into my base. I hate having multiple gases flowing through my base. So what we'll end up doing is sealing this off eventually. Uh, but luckily, we've got a bunch of oxygen coming in here, which will eventually make its way up the top here. I do probably need to make space for it to come through here, but if I do that, the water pressure will probably build up and break through. So we don't want to do that just yet. Uh, how are you guys looking for skill points? No skill points yet. You're almost there. 500 more points, we can get this hard digging, which is wonderful. All right, so we're going to build a ladder system there. 
That'll enable the dupes to dig through that and then they can hop up on there, which is wonderful. But yeah, other than that, everything looks like it's going pretty good. They can't dig through that just yet because, well, he doesn't have the proper skills. Oh, I really don't want that hydrogen. And there's also germs in here. So there's floral scent from all the flowers, which is fine. Um, what else have we got? We've got slime biomes right next to us, right here and there. Oh, that's going to be annoying to deal with because um, when that happens, we'll get germs through the base. But that's fine. So, we're going to dig that up, uh, and let's keep going, you guys are doing good, that's fine, alright, they're having a little bit of a nap, so once they wake up, they're going to dig through that, uh, Nicola, not Nicola, the, I can't remember who our digging guy is, should have enough experience to get a level up, and then we can start working on digging this out, and actually dig our water out, what I might do is I might queue this up, as well, we'll dig that up, and then what we'll actually do is we will wall this up. So you can see where we've put the tile. We'll wall that up and then that will enable us to flow the water out this way. Because where is the next tile? So here and we go down. All right, so we want that tile to go there. Now he's not going to build it just yet. Hopefully. Yeah. They can't reach it just yet, so that's fine. But that will enable us to consolidate all the water into one spot. We've still got a bunch of like... The normal terrain down the bottom here. We want to stick in this bit though, because that's where all the green, nice temperature is. We can cool down the base eventually. Nicola, mate, you got advanced researching. You guys aren't going to be far off. Wonderful. Okay. So they're digging through that. Keep digging, guys. That's all good. And that's all good. All right. So we're going to just empty this out. All the coal, all the copper ore. We're going to just take it all. Take all that. We're going to build a ladder. And uh, we're going to dig all that copper out. So how much have we got right now? 33 ton 32 tons of copper ore. So quite a bit of copper ore. Uh, these guys can still get out, yeah? Yeah, they've got a bit of space there. And what we'll do is we will dig out that. As well, I believe, yeah. And I don't think I have access to... There's a special tiles you can get as well. I don't think we have access to them yet. And uh, they, insulate the, they insulate the heat, so they prevent heat from getting out and heat from getting in. That's what we want, insulated tile. So what we might do is we might do that next, and uh, that'll bring us closer. And then what we can do is we can bring the supercomputer up. Now, I'm going to deconstruct that because it's not really doing anything for it. Oh, it is in the sterile atmosphere. Uh, cancel that. It is in the sterile atmosphere, so we will leave that there. Nope, now it's not. What is it actually holding? Two nutrient bars. All our muck root is just chilling out. It's probably going to get some food poisoning germs, but eh. Do we really mind? Not really. Alright. We got another principle. What did we get? Brine. I'm not liking any of the dupes, so we'll go for the brine, which is pretty much salt water. It's got a lot more salt in it, though, than water. Alright, so that's all doing good. You guys are going great. If I build a ladder down here, you guys can travel a lot faster. Alright, awesome. And we're just waiting for Thingamajiggy to get some skills, his skill point, which is okay. Uh, we've got 20,000 calories, so we've got 18,000 mock root. Uh, we've got some millwood growing, which is good. We've got a couple more seeds, which I think I might plant a couple more. Um, but right now, we just want to focus on getting this all harvested out. So what we'll do is we'll go like that. There we go. And dig that. And just dig all through there. Okay, that's all that. That's fine. Dig through there. And we'll just cancel all that. That's fine. Alright, so we'll dig through that. They're currently on downtime, which is fine. I do need to build another wash basin. How are we looking for germs, guys? You are covered in food poisoning germs. You grub. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they should be alright. So we still don't have an oxygen generator built. Our oxalite down the bottom here that we were using has run out, which is... Slight problem. How much oxygen do we actually have floating around the base? So it's pretty breathable in segments down the bottom here. Uh, it's very breathable up here. This is just pure oxygen up here. But the dupes aren't really traveling up there too much. Alright, but I think we got our skill point. Yeah, get that digging, get that construction. Now this is where morale comes into play. So if you don't have good morale, you can't learn new skills. And then your dupes get stressed and they get really grumpy at you. So you can see here, this guy's got two morale. 
from his break, his duplicate, he just has a base one. Uh, interested skills learned because his construction, he has a heart next to it, he's got an extra morale. But because he had a crappy meal and the decor around him is absolutely hideous, he gets minus two. So luckily enough, we do have enough morale to get the skill points. And that means we can start digging all through here. Which is great. And we already have access to iron ore, which is wonderful. So we're going to dig all this out. Just dig it all out, mate. So Nails is going to be the only one that can dig it out because they're the only ones with the level two digging skill, which not a big deal. It's fine. We can use that. And we're going to dig all that out as well. Come on, Nails. Get to work. You don't have time to stand there and applaud yourself. Uh, you can also get hats on them. Oh, I forgot about that. We'll put the hats on them. There you go. You guys deserve hats. You learned your points. You learned your skills. There you go. Everyone enjoy your hats. All right. So they're all going to get hats. Uh, I do need to fix this up. So we're going to deconstruct this ladder system here. And this ladder system here. I think I might just deconstruct this ration box as well. It's not doing anything for us. It is in sterile atmosphere, but there's only two nutrient bars. And the nutrient bars themselves will be fine on the floor, I believe. Yep, that's fine. And then what we can do here is we can build a supercomputer. I'm going to deconstruct this battery and we are going to deconstruct that as well. Whenever you deconstruct something, you always get the same amount of resources back. So whatever it costs you to uh, build it, you get the exact same resources back. So what we need to do now is we need to upgrade our power supply. So we're going to go with a big boy jumbo battery. Still going to run with the basic manual generator, I think. Yeah, we'll still run with that. And then we just need to connect it all up. So connect that and run the wire down like that. So yeah, so the jumbo battery has double the amount of size that the normal battery has. I want to, is that, I need to see if that's thingy or not. All right, but these guys, you know what, we might go explore this little building. So these buildings are like from what the people that were already here have left behind. Oh my God, look at all the stuff down here. There's plenty of stuff. Um, so yeah, these are generally sealed off from most things, but sometimes you can't have access. Oh. How did we get chlorine? Did we dig into some bleach stone? Alright, so we've got some chlorine coming up from somewhere. You can see there's pockets of chlorine coming up. We don't want chlorine in our base. So there's something in here that's producing the chlorine. Igneous rocks, dirt, muckroot, carbon dioxide. No, where is it? It's got to be around here somewhere. Generally, it's from bleach stone. Bleach stone. Alright, here we go. So this is what's emitting the... And there's one there too. Damn, how did we miss that? Uh, Alright, so to combat that, what we need to do is we need to put it into some water. Oh, that's annoying. I hate having chlorine there. Alright, so we're going to go storage bin. We'll make one of these. And we will put it in here. And we'll prioritize that as nine. And what will that mean? What that means is we will then sweep up the bleach stone. And it'll sit in here and then it won't produce any chlorine. I hope. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Alright, so what we need to do is consume all bleach stone. And we want to sweep that up and make it a high priority so it stops producing the chlorine. Because then our dupes won't be able to breathe down here like at all. There's one there. I missed that. And sweep that one up. Priority 9 as well. And that should be all the bleach stone. Guys, can we come sweep it up, please? Hello? Forget what you're doing and come sweep it up. All right, here comes Nicola. That's all the bleach stone, I believe. Yeah, and you can see it's sitting in here. It's no longer producing any chlorine because it's submerged, which is great. That's what we wanted. We didn't want chlorine around the base. I mean, we've got a little bit of it. You can see if we bring this up and we go gas, you can see there's small tidbits of it, but we should be able to get it out eventually. And once that's done, we can open this door up and take a look at what's inside. Alrighty guys, so we've got a clogged toilet at the moment, so the dupes are going to work on getting that fixed, I hope. Yeah, Nicola looks real happy about that. Hey mate, cheer up, it's okay. Uh, we've also lost a bit of a mealwood plant here because the temperature is too high from them. So each plant has a certain amount of conditions to get it to grow. You can see there, 10 to 30 degrees is uh, what we want. It's 30.2, so the mealwood isn't going to grow. I'm not too worried about that for now. We will relocate that stuff into the center of our base. Uh, but you can see here we've dug into this stuff. So there's a bit of temperature leak through there and we, oh, what's in here? We've got some water, got some pinch of pepper nuts. That's okay. We can keep that here. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to rummage through that. We'll take a look 
and we just deconstruct this stuff. It does give us a little bit of uh, steel, and you do get database entries when you get that, so that pertains to the lore and stuff like that. Going to get those guys to do that, and what did you guys find? A nutrient bar? Sweep that up. There's nowhere to sweep it, that's fine. Okay, so we've got some idleness going on. But what we're going to do, we're going to make this bit here the bottom of our base. I think that's enough room for us, and we just need to research these insulated tiles. Once we get those insulated tiles going, we're going to chuck them down the bottom here. We'll have a little bit of temperature, a little bit of heat coming through, but that's okay. We can eventually... Wow, that is very cold. We can eventually cool that down, and then we can actually get our water all into one pit. Uh, so we just got to wait for the... For the... For the... I can't remember what they're actually called. Insulated tiles. Once they're down, we can get those built up and insulate all of our water. Uh, we've got some idleness going on. We don't want that. We're going to just come through here and you guys just clean out that. Once we get the temperature, the insulated tiles down as well, we can then also start insulating the whole base and because that will prevent heat getting out. So we'll probably make a thing just there and how hot is it? It's only 30 degrees down there. That's fine. So yeah, we'll probably get that and then have it going to probably about here. Probably about there, and then that will be the confines of our base, I think. Should be enough room. Normally it is, uh, but you can see already the, the temperature is starting to leach into here, especially over here from the cool steam vent. So we don't want any of that temperature getting further into the base. You can already see our millwoods are getting uh, stifled by it, but uh, we've got some growing here, and you guys will shortly see what this looks like. Absolutely delicious grubs. Mill lice, mill lice, mill lice. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to get a little bit of gas overlay here, just so I can see how much carbon dioxide is here. Because uh, we can use that as a natural fridge so that the mill lice does not go off. How are we looking on the research? Almost done. That's fine. You guys keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. We're also going to deconstruct that because we don't need that anymore. And deconstruct the wire. We're probably going to just leave the rest of it here because we will eventually have a ladder system going down through here and we can just get back to it anyway so i'm not too worried about that uh we've got some more obsidian here phosphorite i do need to do some more exploring uh but what's the temperature through here i don't want to go too far in because that will heat the base up especially if we don't have it uh what's the word walled off i guess you could say so these guys please wash your hands i'm not gonna wash their hands in time damn it i need to build another basin uh, wash basin can that fit awesome that fits in there we'll build that That'll do. You can see that we're uh, emitting polluted oxygen as well. That's from all the uh, the gunk that these guys produce. Yeah, it speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. Did you just take a fall asleep while you're taking a dump? Are you serious right now? I don't know. These these duplicates. I'm telling you. So right now everything's going pretty well. Uh, research. We're almost done, which is great. And you can see we're unlocking more and more stuff. So, I do need to get these guys a place to sleep. That should probably be my next priority. So, what we will do is we'll get these guys some beds. So, one, two, three, four, four. That's all we need for now. We'll build five just for uh, a future one that comes along because I know we're going to get more of them. And uh, you can see the guys are all delivering their resources to the research stations. We've got Ashkin powering our battery. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. And uh, the research is almost done for the insulated tiles, and then we can actually build our insulated tile water storage. So it's going to go straight across here. I don't know if we should go for airflow tiles or water storage. I think insulated will be fine. Uh, no research focus. All right, so we've done that, so we can go for the insulated tiles. Uh, we are going to go... I don't think we need granite. I think sandstone should be all right. We'll go with sandstone. We don't want our water heating up, so first off, we're just going to do that. That will prevent the water from going out. We might need to build this double high, just in case, depending on how much water we have. But uh, generally, it is normally double high, and we're going to build that straight across like that. That's going to be our little water pit, and that should be 16 across. Is that 16? Yep, that's 16 across, so that's perfect. Just how we want it, and oh, you guys are already going to trap yourselves in there. Get, get. Nails, you need to move, mate. You're going to get yourself trapped in there. We don't want that happening to you.
Alright, so they're looking pretty good right there. They're building it up. I might... How much water have we got? All right, we've got a new printable. We're gonna go for the muck route because we're a little bit lacking in the food department right now, which, you know, isn't a bad thing, but it's not the greatest of things either. Now, we need to make sure we finish building as much of this as we can before we go about building these tiles. What I might do, because I know the moment we break this sand, the water will just come out. I can guarantee you. So we just need to make sure that we've got as much of this built as we possibly can. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Are you guys stuck or are you just idling? It's fine. All right. So now these guys will go have a sleep in the bed, which is wonderful. That's great. A uh, bleach, bleach stone is all covered up there. I might make this another one high. I just have a feeling that uh, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. And I think I might cut the base off here as well. I think I might cut the base off there. Yeah. And we'll just have this section because, I mean, we can build out here. Especially like just this little bit, but I don't think it's worth it. I think if anything, we would probably, yeah, I guess we could have this as our exosuit. So eventually when we get the tech for it, oh, these guys are suffocating down here. Probably not the greatest thing to put our duplicates through, especially when they're hard at work. That's fine. They're going to get that fixed up for us. Uh, we're not going to bother touching this stuff just yet. I do need to excavate all this. Once I get the water storage done... We can then just tear out the whole place because I like having the water storage all in one spot and that means if there's any accidental digs or anything and already these guys have themselves trapped. Look at this shit. Look at this. Ashkin, mate. Oh, you're lucky you pulled yourselves out of there in time. I swear. <laughs> you guys weren't looking too hot. I was. wouldn't be surprised if you guys were going to trap yourselves in there. So we're going to get this finished, built and uh, that should enable us to store all our water in there. I just, I don't want to break it just yet, because I know, I, I know the sand isn't going to hold. And the moment we dig that out, the water will start dripping through. We don't want that. We don't want the water to drip through. So what I might do is I might ladder this. Uh, we need to deconstruct that. That's what I'm trying to go for. Do that, and then what we can do is we can go for a ladder. System there. We can dig that out and then that should enable our dupes to get to the top there and build the rest of those insulated tiles build fellas build before you run out of oxygen and we'll prioritize that as a nine come on come on come on come on you can see there the water did drip through a little bit we already lost some of it i want them to get that finished built all right done so that's 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 contained some of the water but you can see See what I mean? Some of the water did just come through. Uh, that's fine. We're going to mop that up. Uh, and what we'll do is we will dig that out. And they should build that there. I hope. I don't know. We're about, we're about to find out because that sand will fall through. Can they reach it? It's unreachable. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll ladder... That'll fix that and we'll make that a priority 9. I might cancel that for the time being because they are about to clock off. So I don't think they would do it. I don't know. No, they should have enough time. Let's get this built. We'll use it. What do we got? Igneous rock, sandstone. We've got sandstone down here. That's fine. We'll use sandstone. And we want that to be a priority urgent. So let's get that fixed up and prioritize that bad boy. And now they should do it straight away without hopefully losing too much water. You can see there. You can see that that the, the tile itself is actually cracking from the amount of pressure. And they are literally doing everything. You watch. They're going to build it. And they'll clock off. No. Just cancel. Cancel that as well. Because they're, they'll, they'll do it. They'll start building it. And then they'll clock off. You can see they're already running up there to have their time off so i'll just wait to the next uh to the next day we're gonna queue up the next research with that one because we're gonna need that to go through they're eating their mill lice which is great we're gonna take a whiz and we need to set that to the right way there we go awesome all right everything is going okay so far 
We almost lost the dupe at the beginning. That's all right. We're going to finish building this water... Water trap, I guess you could call it. And we'll bring you guys back when that's done. And we'll probably wrap up the video there. Alrighty, guys. And it's about to blow. There we go. We've got the water coming through now. So we built this little bit of a... Sort of a retaining wall. So all the water is going to come through. And then what we'll do is we will build two more of these insulated tiles here. And then we can actually get in there and build two more of the insulating tiles across the bottom. I know it's a little bit complicated. Probably, there's a, probably another smarter way that you could go about doing it. But, uh, this way we'll just have to do, I guess. Am I doing this right? What am I, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? There should be an easier way to do about doing this. Why don't I, let's, no, that's going to take too long. So what we'll do is we'll actually cancel this and we will push the water out. So we're going to build these tiles here, right? And this is going to push the water this way. So there'll be no more water there. And then what we can actually do is we can build another stack there. And then deconstruct this. And we can actually get in there and build that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's how it'll work. As soon as they actually finish the bloody job. There we go. And I don't know if I can mop this. Can I mop this? Is it too much? Too much liquid. That's fine. So you can see we only got half-ish of the water. The wall kind of worked. I might build another one just there, just in case. And uh, that should stop all this extra water from going over this way in case. And what we'll actually do is we'll build another tile there. That will stop That will stop the water from getting through. That will stop the water. Hallelujah. That'll work. All right. Yeah, that, that will work. Too much liquid, that's fine. The moment they finish building this, we should be able to deconstruct that. Uh, I'm going to build one more tile up here. Just because I'm not sure how this will work. I've never had to do something so uh, so intense for uh, for some water. Trust me. Uh, there has been some easier, easier tasks that we could have done. Alright, so that's going good. Our fo food is starting to dwindle. We're actually losing a bit of food. Don't have too much muckroot left. We still can go digging for it. Like we've got all this over here. And like a little bit over here. Which we might actually go do since some of them are idle. Might try and find some muckroot if we can. And that'll let us... Uh, yeah, that'll let us survive for a little bit longer. Without dying of hunger. Alright, so now what we'll do is we will deconstruct that. Surely there's an easier way for us to do this. Pretty sure there's an easier way. Just not aware of it. Doesn't matter. Once we get all this water in the same pit, we'll be sweet. We've got polluted oxygen, uh, polluted water up here as well. So we'll build another one of these above us. But that can wait. That That's for a later stage. We've also got more polluted water down here, which is also for a later stage. Once we get all the plumbing and stuff done, this, this water tank is taking me longer than I expected. I did want to have proper farms and stuff like that going. But uh, at the time, it doesn't, doesn't look like it's, it's the case. We've got a little bit of some stuff there we could probably dig out as well, which is probably more muckroot. We do need to get into critter ranching, but for that we're going to need another duplicate. So we've still got to wait a little bit for that. But, you know, that's not too much of a problem. We've got the natural gas geyser, which we can use as a power source, a temporary power source, which will be pretty good if we can get down to it. But I do want to wall the rest of the base off because there is a bit of heat starting to sink in. So I do think we'll just cut it off here. Which is dumb because I built all the beds and stuff. But yeah. Don't have really much of a choice. Alright. So then once that's done. I don't know if they can reach it. They should be able to. We'll just build a ladder. Only losing 643 kilos of water. Not too much of a biggie. And we will go insulated, insulated, insulated. Cancel that one. And then we'll do those two first. And then that should enable us to complete this. So we'll bring you guys back when it's all done. Alrighty, guys. So we got the water pit. I guess, yeah, water pit built. Uh, you can see here we're starting to bring the water from the other little bit down. We've got a food shortage because we had to build this sort of uh, staircase here. And uh, all our muck roots over here. These guys might be a bit hungry for a little bit, but that's fine we've still got probably enough food in there for him to survive the night i hope i don't know we're about to find out but nonetheless we finally got this thing built uh it took us a lot longer and it was more difficult than i should have made it uh we've got this little pit of water over here which is you know it's fine we can actually pump that out anyway 
and bring it over into the main storage supply. But right now, I just want to get the rest of this sort of water gone uh, because there is a lot of it. So we'll get that in there and then we can bring this one straight down. And how much is up here? There is quite a bit. There's like three tons of water up here. So we're going to bring that down as well. And for that, we'll probably just dig a hole through here so it all just flows down and comes down in here. All right, so that's all going. Uh, it is slowly but surely going down there. Uh, can I mop any of it up? No. If I dig that out, will that help? There we go. That should make things go a little bit faster. All right, once that's done, we then will need to uh, cut out all of that. But what we need to do now is we need to go for a mesh tile and we need to fix this up. All right, so these guys are going to build these mesh tiles and this will this allows the flow of liquids through it. So we're going to destroy all this stuff and then we can actually just let all the liquids go through. And uh, yeah, that should be good. I don't need that one there. We do need to get rid of all this stuff here though, uh, which is an eventual thing. And now we've got some water trapped here. God dang it. What we'll do, we'll just get the ladder and just go like that. And we'll go like that and like that. And that should be enough. And then we'll just dig all of that out. Awesome. Alrighty. But guys, I think we're going to wrap up the video for today. It's gone on for quite a bit of time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, Oxygen Not Included. We'll probably try and do a series on it. See how you guys like it. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a fun game. I've got over 100 hours onto it. It's easy to just sink hours and hours into it because there's always something to do. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. So Nails bids you farewell. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda. Remy boys and